The Philippines is a nation of islands. The land area of the Philippine archipelago is about 300,000 square kilometers, spread evenly to 7,107 small islands in the territory. This makes the Philippines coastline 36,289 kilometers long, bringing this country to the fifth position in the ranking of countries with the longest coastline in the world. With such geographical characteristics, the Philippines needs a strong enough naval force to ensure its security. In recent years, Manila has continuously promoted naval modernization with a range of new equipment. The Philippines of the present wants to follow its own direction and will not depend on America. In 2012, BRP Raymond Ancaras and her sisters, Gregorio del Pilar and BRP Andres Bonafiso, were put into the payroll of the Philippines Navy as an offshore patrol vessel. Before that, from 1968 to 2012, she was known as USCGC Dallas and served the United States Coast Guard as a high endurance cutter. She was decommissioned on March 30, 2012 and acquired by the Philippines under the Access Defense Articles and the Foreign Assistance Act. Ramon Ancaras is the second of several ex-U.S. Coast Harmington-class cutters that will serve the Philippine Navy. She is named after Commodore Ramon Ancaras, a Filipino naval officer and World War II hero best known for receiving a silver star for heroism and gallantry during World War II. She was originally designated as PF-16 from 2012 to mid-2016 when the Philippine Navy adopted a new code designation system, redesignating her to FF-16. And in 2019, Philippine Navy redesignated her to PS-16 and downgraded the status of the class from frigate to patrol ship. USCGC Dallas is a weather high endurance cutter and has specifications similar to that of BRP Gregorio del Pilar. It is largely used by the US Coast Guard for drug and migrant interdiction, law enforcement, search and rescue, living marine sources protection, and defense readiness. The 12 Hornington class high endurance cutters were inducted into the USCG between 1967 and 1972. In addition to the Philippines, the U.S. transfers two Hornington-class cutters to Bangladeshi Navy and other two to Nigerian Navy. The U.S. CCC Dallas was formally transferred to the Philippine government on May 22, 2012, during a ceremony at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center Pierce Papa in North Caleston, South Carolina. The ship was turned over to its Filipino crew, with Captain Ernesto Barantovino as its first commanding officer. After being acquired and renovated at a cost of $15.15 million, the ship completed its first trip in June 2013 and was put into operation in November 2013. The modernized Raymond Ankara's vessel incorporates new navigational and electronic systems, new armament and anti-submarine warfare capability. Raymond Ankara's has an overall length of 115 meters, a beam of 13 meters, and a raft of 6.1 meters. The full load displacement is 3,250 tons. The ship can accommodate 162 personnel, including 19 officers. At the stern, an aircraft flight deck supports an Augusta Westland AW109 Power Nathan helicopter. It is also provided with a hangar for aircraft storage. The ship has two braces located in the middle of the area. A number of antennas and radars mounted atop the bridge ensure safe operation at sea. Raman Ankaras can carry two high-performance precision inflatable boats for use when needed. The BRP Raman Ankaras is powered by a combined diesel or gas arrangement, two Fairbanks Morse 38 T8 12-cylinder diesel engines. Each producing 3,500 horsepower, 
total diesel engine output 7,000 short horsepower. These diesel engines are combined with two Pratt and Whitney FT4A6 cars turbines, each producing 18,000 short horsepower. Total gas turbine output 36,000 short horsepower. This propulsion system provides a top speed of 29 knots, a range of 14,000 nautical miles, and an endurance of 45 days. The Philippines vessel is armed with one Mark 75 Automolara 76mm compact gun in the bow. It's intended to offer protection against surface and air targets. After a long wait, the Philippine Navy's BRP Raymond Ankaras finally got two 25mm Mark 38 Mod 2 autocannons installed. This is the Philippine Navy's first Mark 38 Mod 2 system and the first Hamilton class ship to have shut mount which are the improved version of the Mark 38 M242 Bushmaster guns for protection against surface threats in both day and night conditions. The warship is also armed with four M28B Browning 12.7mm machine guns to combat close-range air threats and light targets. Sensors and processing system included Kelvin Hughes Mark II X-band navigational radar and Kelvin Hughes Surpi 200 kW S-band solid-state navigation search radar. The fire control system is very Mark 92 Mode 1. The electronic warfare and decoys of the vessel included two Mark 36 Super Rapid blooming of both countermeasures trap and decoy launching system. This is a short-range motor that lot shaft or infrared decoys from naval vessels to fire anti-ship missiles. The anti-ship missile and torpedo system is not equipped on this ship. This may be purchased from the United States in the future. The Philippine Navy plans to modernize the entire ship of the class with the initial program to upgrade the ship's sensors and another program to improve its weapon systems. Future upgrades are planned to install defensive and offensive missile systems and torpedo launchers. Although funding is still being secured and might only be included in the next phase of the Navy's modernization program. In a post on February 28, 2019, the BRP Raymond Ankaras fetched from Parola Island in the West Philippine Sea to Filipino fishermen who were earlier reported to have jumped from FV Thanksgiving fire after experiencing maltreatment from the head of the crew. The fishermen were then rescued by the Vietnam People's Navy and later brought to Parola Island. The crew were residents of Paradise Bury and Patiwan in San Jose Municipality, Occidental Mindoro. The BRP Ramon Ankara's video ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please show me your thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.